server. So as you can see, being an Oracle employee, my favorite app server, of course, is... Anyone? Tomcat. Tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is what happens when Jonas calls you when you're in the middle of finishing your slides. So there's supposed to be more logos here for Glassfish and um, Jetty and all the other app servers, but actually I've, I've tested it in three so far. I've tested it in Jetty, Glassfish, and Tomcat. So at least those three I know work with this combination. All right, and the final step is um, create the native app using the JavaFX Packager. So it's a command line tool, or you can do it from the IDE. Um, it bundles up your application in a DMG file for desktop, in an ex executable for Windows, or in a RPM for Linux, and then you can deploy your application as a desktop app into different app stores, like the Mac App Store. And actually, there, here's an example of the first Java application running in the Mac App Store. So you can download this today and give it a try. It's um, the JavaFX Ensemble, which shows you all the test components and widgets for JavaFX. And I, um, as you can see, the internet on the, boat, on the boat here is awesome. It's telling me to log in again. But fortunately, I've already installed this. Okay, thanks. Yes, I want Wi-Fi. All right, so here's the Ensemble application, and seeing how this isn't a JavaFX talk anymore, this is a, a Vaadin talk. We're not going to spend too much time showing you how how easy and cool and sexy JavaFX development is. We'll let you guys figure that out yourself later on. <clears throat> okay, so enough JavaFX. Let's see if we can actually get some get some coding working now. Um, this is the this is the unrehearsed part of the presentation, so we're gonna hope everything goes great getting PowerPoint to not take over the whole screen is the first step. All right, so I've got NetBeans here as an IDE and a couple different projects. We have embedded Glassfish, embedded Jetty, and embedded Tommy. And I grabbed a couple samples from recent bot and stuff. So one is Mobile Mail. Uh, Mobile Mail is the mashup uh, mail client mostly designed for mobile, but it also works on desktop. And the other one is a, is, was this other demo released yet, the dashboard demo? Yeah, it's released. Okay. Sources are not there yet, but. All right, so we, also the bot and dashboard mock-up demo, which shows you how you can take advantage of web services, pull back dynamic data, and do lots of cool styling. And this is kind of bleeding edge, what you see is what you get, and you can you can ask me about the glitches and stuff later. Are we doing Q&A for this, Jonas? If you have time. <laughs> if we have time, I'm gonna show snowmobile movies, so. <laughs> no Q&A then. <laughs> no Q&A. All right, so we've got embedded Glassfish, embedded Tommy, and embedded Jetty. So let's try Jetty first. Okay, so basically what I've done here is it's a straight up JavaFX project. I have a single main class, which is just a stub application. It extends the JavaFX main application and creates a stage, which is just a web view that redirects to a, a local URL. So this is the dashboard app. And then the rest of this code is app server specific. So for the case of Jetty, they have nice um, embeddable APIs. And you can just create a new web app context, um, set the context parameter, add the WAR file in. And I think, let's see, oh yeah, yeah, with Jetty, um, I have a hack for this for Tomcat. Some of the application servers don't make it particularly easy to load data from a stream. So if you want to actually bundle with your application and pull it out of a jar file, 
you need to do a trick with writing to a temporary file and streaming it back out. So I didn't do that in the Jenny code, but I did it in the Tommy code. Then I'll show you an example of um, tricking the app server into loading a local file out of the temp folder. And then finally sending it to use the web application we've defined. So let's give this guy a try and see if he works. <clears throat> okay, so I already have something running. That's not good. Kill him. And run Jetty. So you can see it's actually starting up the application server. This is the JavaFX web view. And we got a wonderful server error because our network connection sucks. <laughs> So it, it died on trying to get the, um, the APIs for, um, what does this connect to again? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is why I chose Mobile Mail as the second app, because I want it to fail first so you guys can see how horrible things are without a proper network connection. But Mobile Mail doesn't require any net connection, so we can actually deploy and run that app regardless of the funky Wi-Fi here. All right. So forget Dashboard, that's a horrible demo app for cruise boats. But our Tommy project, okay, we have Dashboard and Mobile Mail here. Both of these WAR files have all the bottom jar files and the code inside of it. Um, you can see here, I was trying to get the Dashboard working beforehand, but screw that, we're gonna do Mobile Mail. Uh, Yes, that's right. Okay, mobile mail. The Tommy code here shows you how you can create a temporary file to write out something. Mobile mail. Oops. Shows you how you can use a temporary file to write out the WAR file and then point to that because a lot of the app servers require file APIs, they don't want to take streams. But this is a nice hack to get around in Tommy and Jetty. In the case of Glassfish, they have a nice embedded API which takes a stream, so you can directly stream from the, um, the jar and the class path into the app server. All right, so I think I've updated this app to work with Mobile Mail, and let's give the Tommy Mobile Mail app a quick test. And it has to work because all you guys were inspecting the code while I was typing to make sure it was perfect, right? I didn't see Java 3's What? I didn't see Java even trying 3's Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get right on that. <laughs> see, that's why you, you get friends in front to, to heckle you because you guys were probably all thinking, oh, Steve's not using try with resources in the back of your head, but you were too afraid to say it, so thanks, Martin. <laughs> That's what friends are for. <clears throat> Wait till your turn. <laughs> All right, so here's the VOD in mobile mail. And we're actually loading some messages off the test. And you can see that it has great lorem ipsum text in here. Uh, a few styling issues. But those are bugs I should probably file against the JavaFX web view. The reason this stuff works fairly seamlessly is the JavaFX web view uses WebKit as the underlying engine. So it'll behave similarly to Chrome or Safari, um, also uses the V8 JavaScript engine, so you should get pretty similar results to other web frameworks, and you can deploy your app to a desktop application. All right, so that That's the great demo. Bye. So who's, who's ready for snowmobiling? Uh, <laughs> All right, hazardous. <laughs> so part of the reason I'm out here is I've been doing a Nordic night hacking tour across Europe. And one of the, one of the fun things which I get to do is I'm supposed to have fun, capture it on video, and then um, broadcast interviews and um, cool stuff I'm doing in different parts of the world. So 
I got Jonas and Sammy out, and we were actually cruising around. Oh wow, it actually, it, it, so it was capturing our speed. We're going 32 miles per hour. We were wondering how fast we were going at different points, but we didn't have the, um, the speedometer was broken on the snowmobile. But um, you can actually catch more snowmobiling videos. We did an interview on Baden 7 earlier today, and that's on the Night Hacking Ustream channel, so you can check out more of us sliding around on the ice and having fun, and I think we, we all survived successfully. <laughs> so no, no one was injured in the making of this, this film. That's, a, that's the ATV, and I think Sammy made some good donuts. There he, there's donutting on the, on the ice. All right, so thank you. Who's up next? I thought we said no questions yet. You have actual time for Q&A as well, if you go. <laughs> all, right, all right, go ahead, Martin. So I'm actually really interested in the fact that you've got the web kit engine built into JavaFX. So 